With the new She-Hulk trailer out for a little over a week now, fans have been eagle-eyed at speculating what's coming up in the future, and there's one really interesting theory that's popped up stating that the movie She-Hulk may have a secret timeline that we haven't realized just yet, and it's actually really interesting. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Now last week, a lot of you probably remember that we saw the very first look at the upcoming Disney Plus series, She-Hulk. While a lot of fans were very focused in on the CGI and the visual effects, some fans were more focused on trying to piece together the larger and maybe secret story going on in this upcoming television series. Now, very obviously, we've seen a couple of other Disney Plus shows come out, which have for the most part all taken place after the events of Avengers Endgame. However, some fans are curious and possibly suggesting that this new series, She-Hulk, will take place in between the events of Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, specifically because of some of the placements of Bruce Banner in this project. Now, besides some lines of dialogue suggesting that the world could be short on heroes, just in the way that Bruce Banner says if people like She-Hulk don't protect the world who will. We also know that in this new series, it appears that Bruce Banner does not have any clear damage from the Infinity Gauntlet, which he used in Avengers Endgame. And while we know that Bruce Banner typically does have the regenerative ability to heal up, if you look at his appearance at the post credits sequence of Shang-Chi, we know that even after all of that time, Bruce Banner still has his arm in a sling. So unless this new new series takes place way into the future, it's very possible that this project could be taking place in between these two films, which would be very interesting because we don't actually see that much in the larger MCU about what happened in those five years. We get a little bit of a look in Avengers Endgame, but outside of that, we haven't gotten to see too much of that five-year time period. Now, to further add evidence to this case, we do know that Benedict Wong is apparently supposed to be reprising his role as Wong in this film, and we do also know that if it's just him appearing, it's very possible that that's because he is still the Sorcerer Supreme and Doctor Strange is technically snapped out of existence at this time, so it would make sense for only Wong to appear. At this point, it's still just a theory. We're gonna have to wait until the actual series comes out, but it is a really interesting one. So what do you guys think about She-Hulk? Are you excited for this series to come out this summer? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.